What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Gary with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we're playing a little war day and it is corners. As you can see there's a million squares all over our board. We we have the same amount of squares as he does. Okay, that's what you like to see. Um, but if you guys don't know, these squares are just increased attack speed. That's all they are. Increased attack speed um, in the four corners of the board. The other ones are squares that I always have. But we got Tribunal. We're running the same deck. Uh, yep, exactly the same deck, except he's got Trickster. And I've got uh, Snowflake. So we're going to see if we can find a win. Guys, it's War Day, like I said, so... We're working out here as a team, okay? We gotta work hard to try and protect our people, you know? Get wins for our, our family here, you know? It's not just on us anymore. If we lose, it's it hurts others. That's terrible. But if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships. We got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including the ongoing raffle for you to win your very own Mallard mug. All you gotta be is a rare member to be eligible to win that raffle. And, uh, and we're gonna be doing that poll very soon. It's coming to the end of the season. We always do it at the end of the season and it's it's like a week away now. So stay tuned because if you do get your membership, make sure you're, you're paying attention so you, you win that raffle. But every, you'll, you'll see it, you, you'll win it. If, if you if you win, you, you'll hear it, don't worry. Nobody's, nobody's not collected their Mallard mug when they get it, so. All right, so now I'm in a weird situation here. Where I want to I want to combine out a little bit, um, but I also want to. Well, actually, we've got a bunch of we've got a bunch of portal keepers. Let's just protect people. I can protect three things here. So let's just do that. Let's do that. Let's do that, and let's do that. And it still hit two. That's crazy, but that's not too bad. So let's just check out what our I'm actually going to go here. Let's check out what the next boss is. Bedlam. Okay. So I'm going to go here. And let's see. I'm going to just do um, this, 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 that. Ooh, it did lag a little bit, but we got it. 1,800 mana which ain't too bad so let's just spam a little bit and uh and we can do a little something something here let's just go over here i'll do this i'll do this see if we can find another unit here i'll come down here eh. there is our other inquisitor mm. i'm gonna do that and I can also do this. Just do, oh, I can go here. And then here. Let's get this guy up one time. Let's start leveling up some of our stuff here. We do need another um, knight statue just to... There we go. But I want this guy to be a rank 2 and then I'll move him over here. So let's just go... Go here. We'll go here. Okay. Get this guy up one more time. Get our Bombardier up one more time. Maybe we can do our Inquis one time. Let's see what his board is. He's got a rank 1, 2, and a 3. 7 seconds. We're taking things out pretty quickly. I'm actually going to do that. We're going to move down my knight statue one time. I'll just hit my snowflake just to make sure that we're taking this guy out. I'm going to move him down one time. So at least now he's at, he's still on a square, so it's less important. And, uh, and I'm just going to do that. Okay. So now we can do this. Okay. I like our board. Warlock is coming up next. I think we've got a decent chance to take this guy out and start our war day battle out on the right foot, okay? We haven't really figured out how long it takes for me to get back to my snowflake, but that's kind of there for um, the beginning and the end of battles, so I'm not too worried about spamming them out throughout the waves, to be honest. 
but as long as we can just keep on working. We want our, our uh, knight statues to be a little bit higher level here. He's already got his stuff at max. That might be what's hindering us a bit. So let's get ours up to max as well. Because I don't want to have him have any type of edge in this game here. But he's got a rank... He's got two rank fours already, actually. So he's doing quite well. I want to get this guy on the square. That would be awesome. Maybe someday. I mean, I could just do... That... And, all right, 530, so he is winning. All right, we should be fine here. He took it out quicker, though. Let's just do this. I'm going to do that. And now all we got to do is find a unit to put here, and I can switch him with this, and then we can get him over, and then we're chilling. So let's just keep filling our board, and then I like our board a lot. Because then we can just combine out the way we want. We don't want that on our board. So let's give it a few seconds so we can spam a bit. I'm going to hit my snowflake here just to help out a little bit more. Okay, so now we can go here. I'm going to get my knight statue up. I'm going to move this guy over. Now we can go here. We can go here. We can go here. I think that was a pretty good play from us. 15 seconds. Don't know if we're going to be able to get back to our um, snowflake. It might be close. 8 seconds. A little bit of lag. 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, at, at least we can use it. 2 mil to go through. We might be able to take this out. 2 mil. Oh. Ah. Let's hit our snowflake now. Maybe it'll help. Ooh. Alright, he got switched too, I guess, but... Oh, he took it out, though! Uh, 200. We've got no mana. Um... Well, at least we got a bombardier there. Jeez. Well, we still got Snowflake. He's got the wrong amount. He All he needs is a rank 1 Scrapper, and he's fine. I need a rank 2 Scrapper, which is bad. Oh, he found stuff. Come on, baby! And right there, hit him with a good game. Snowflake won us that game because we could actually pause him for a few seconds. Whew! That was an absolute... Battle, a little mirror matchup. He, I was out doing him with almost every card level. And I'm kind of surprised that we weren't able to take out that Bedlam. And we were having such a, t a hard time throughout the waves. Because I feel like our board was set up pretty well. But now we're going up against the Blade Dancer deck. This is the typical deck that I think of when I see, um, when I see corners. But I'm just not very good with Blade Dancer. So I try to avoid that. But we got Tribunal again. We found it in Quiz early on. So I'm going to try and do as little as possible this wave. Build up as much mana. He's emoting me. So let's just hit him with the Mallard. Say hi. I feel like I haven't been doing that much. Um, but I hope everybody is having a fantastic morning, evening, night. Thank you guys for hanging out joining me today. Uh, hopefully it's a good start to your week. But also... If you guys want to catch me live, we do live stream right here on YouTube to make it super simple for you guys. Every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd absolutely love to have you guys there. You can play with me, play against me, just watch me hang out. Sometimes I, I leave and leave a volleyball with sunglasses on it. If you guys were at that stream, comment below, say what up, because uh, that was a lot of fun. But, uh, but definitely check those out if you have any interest in that. And actually, in this, this coming stream... We might do the Mallard raffle at the end of the stream, right? Or or midway through the stream. I think it's I think it's about that time. So I like the spot that we're in. Um, he's doing absolutely fine. Also, of course, the only thing is it is tribunal. So the more units he gets on his board, the less man like the more mana is going to get taken away from his board. It's a little tough. I think Inquisitor is the only card in the game that you can last with a, a whole wave 
with just the one rank one. I do have it at level two, but one rank one unit will last you the entire wave. I do have Bombardier there. It helps out a bit. I have Snowflake at the end to just clear the whole wave. This is as good a setup as you would want early on. And then I hopefully can just have enough mana to get my board looking good. We're actually going to see what the next boss is. Probably before we go crazy spamming. And, uh, and then we can kind of go from there. So, 1,800 mana. We did lose that guy. Let's just find another Inquiz. Okay. I'm going to move him down here. We should have no problem taking him out. Let's just check out what the next boss is just before I go absolutely crazy spamming away. He's hit me. With, okay, it's Warlock, so I'm fine with that. He's hit me with the Mallard. What up, dude? Let's see if we can find an Inquiz here. Okay, we found another Inquiz. Let's start eating some of these things here. Okay. I'm just gonna come down here. Still digging for an Inquiz. Okay, there she is. And now I just need to make sure that we can find a rank two. Um. Scrapper. So you guys can kind of notice how I do this. I'm trying to keep my board as full as possible. And when I eat this next unit, I'm hoping that it's going to try and upgrade one of these. And I can just combine it out. That's what I need. Right? Because I don't want to eat that guy. Because I do need another um, knight statue. But our board looks okay. Right? We're not in a tough spot yet. But it could get ugly soon. So let's get one more guy on our board. See if we can level up one of our... It could be this guy, too. If it levels up him, that's fine. Right? Those are both in quizzes, so... I mean, as that's good, it's not getting us a rank 2 scrapper, so... You can just get a little ugly. But we're okay. We're okay for right now. Let's get our knight statue up again. He's trying his best to get around. I I want to re-watch this video and see how hard he got hit with uh, Tribunal. But let's just build some mana. We've got... One second here. I could have used my Snowflake and probably gotten a little bit of extra damage there. But we do have a Bombardier. Ooh, let's just hit it because, oh, we don't know if the Bombardier is going to hit, but it did. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay, we just have one more merge to get another level up, and hopefully we hit something cool. Because remember, when you're merging and you're leveling units up, it's never going to level up your Scrapper. So let's go here. Beautiful. So now we can do that. We can do this. Do that. Okay. Okay, that was really, really good. We don't have a Bombardier, which is a little bit unfortunate. But now you can see how we just combine out all the Scrappers. Ate everything. We got a Bombardier right there, which is fantastic. We do have Puppeteer. Let's just try to do as much damage in this wave as we can. I'm going to level up my Inquis followed by my knight statue, and um, hopefully we can just power right through this puppeteer when we get there. He's still doing work, he's still doing good, but I, I think we have this game right now. I think we're in a really fantastic spot, but I I like it. I like his deck, I think he's, he's playing it well. We got another bombardier, let's keep that guy over there too. It is on an, an attack speed bonus, and this guy is on a knight statue bonus, so no complaints. Let's get our, our bombardier up one more time eat that guy maybe we can even get one more level up and uh and maybe we can hit a bombardier that'd be great doesn't look like we're gonna get the option uh, yep we are and there's a bombardier beautiful puppeteer coming in okay i'm just gonna eat this guy we don't need that oh, puppeteer's moving around he's got he's gotten hit pretty hard though you know he he got Stuck in a situation that's been really, really difficult because he started off right away with Tribunal. And with Blade Dancer, you need a couple of Blade Dancers, probably on a Knight Statue, maybe on a Square, to kind of survive that first wave. He's got Trickster, so he can't just clear it with Snowflake and, and be, like, tactful about it. So right away, he was... He had a hard time. He's hitting me with a good game. He's probably right. Um, I'll just do a, a Dancing Mallard. Oh, he hit a... Okay, well, good game, man. Good game. Okay, I don't like saying good game before the game is over. I feel like that's BM. Not not from him. He's not saying good game, but I don't want to say it back because I feel I feel weird. 
But then, okay, Warlock wasn't the end of, end of the world. He might have gotten hit by Warlock, which would be really, really bad. Um, but then he got hit by Puppeteer, and it was moving him all over the place. That's just not what you want to see from a Blade Dancer deck. So let's jump into one more game here. See if we can cap this video off with a third win in a row. You can see we're actually in fifth in our tournament. These tournaments are crazy, man. You go up, you go down. I think I got a message at, what, 3 a.m. this morning to go in and do my battles. Uh, I know I'm going to get my battles in today, so I'm not worried about it. But but tomorrow and the next day, the day is going to be done. So I got to make sure that I'm up pretty early. Oh, my gosh. Look at the double squares. How interesting. Ta the This square and this square are both double squares. I've never seen that before. But we're going up against the Shaman deck. Um, and we're going to try and do as much as we can. He's running, um, Catapult in there, which I'm sure he does that to increase a little bit of damage in Wave 1 and 2. Catapult and Wave 1 and 2 are, are great. Um, and, uh, he's also got Bruiser in there, which is his main damage dealer. But what, what I see, he doesn't have, uh, Summoner. So, I'm happy about that. I'm going to try and protect as much as I can, right? But without Summoner, he's not going to be spamming as much as he might like to but we do have portal keeper so that's our goal we're just gonna try and protect with our with our uh, portal keeper here I'm gonna spam in a little bit because I feel like it's better to have more units on your board and then just have a bunch of portal keepers and keep on protecting but let's see this game's gonna be over in two or three waves and uh, I don't know if we're gonna be on top or or in a world of hurt Okay, thousand. We got a thousand mana. That's another really important thing when you play against Shaman is just build your mana. Try to keep your mana. I am going to spam at some point to try and get more portal keepers and maybe get the right amount of, uh, you know, uh, inquisitors and whatever, but. Another portal keeper. That's great, actually. We're, chill we're chilling. We're chilling. We got two. He can spam more than two, obviously, but. They're not all, all his shamans, they're not all going to necessarily go to a different unit. So just because I'm only protecting four inclusive of the bomb, bomb of the uh, portal keepers that I'm using, <clears throat> doesn't mean that it's not going to only protect, it's only going to protect against two. It might protect against more. Eight seconds. We might not even need a, <laughs> a snowflake. We're going to anyway, but one, zero, snowflake. You can't actually wait until zero before you snowflake. And you're still going to hit these guys. But, I mean, he'll probably hit us or, or switch us around. I don't really care. It didn't switch him around, which I'm actually pretty happy about. Because it'll give him more of an opportunity to... Alright, we only got... Okay, we can do that. We can do that. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Um, let's try and find a Knight's a, uh, Inquis... Okay, so we've got a couple of rank two uh, portal keepers, which isn't ideal per se, but we sh we still have two rank one portal keepers, which is what we want. We've got we can protect a little bit. I'm just gonna go here and kind of see what we get. Another one, huh? huh. One minute, let's just hit it now. We got Puppeteer. I'm going to level up my Inquiz. Kind of gutsy. Actually, we got a bunch of mana, so let's just try and do a little something here. We do have one rank one Scrapper, which is good. He's building up all his Shamans. But I don't know if I should have gone up to a, a rank four um, Inquisitor, just because Puppeteer is going to rank us down. We're not going to be doing a ton of damage where we can just, you know, wipe it out as soon as we can, so... He's waiting to shaman me. He's doing a ton of damage over there. He's got Snowflake in there as well. This is going to be a tough deck to beat for sure. 24 seconds. I'm glad we've got Snowflake. But this is going to be really tough. 15 seconds. I'm going to hit my Snowflake at about 9 seconds. Or 9 minutes. 9 seconds left. I was right the first time. Let's hit it now. I'm just trying to wait on him. He used his Snowflake there. This is going to be pretty ugly. We should be able to take out Puppeteer. Um, but it's still not ideal. We're still protecting that guy. Okay, it took away one of our Bombardiers. Uh, okay, that was weird. 
200 to go through. It is ranking us down. We do have a decent amount of mana, though, so... And in Wave 3, realistically, he shouldn't have as many Shamans as he does. As he did. Right? So, let's try and start leveling some of our stuff up here. Okay, now we're out of mana, so we gotta protect again, but we still have a couple of, bu of uh, he hit a snowflake there. I'm gonna hit mine around 45 seconds, because I think that's about the timing with this deck. I can't remember 100%, but I'm just gonna hit it now. Try and put some pressure on him. 900 to go through. That was good. I'm going to level up my Knight Statues, because they are all touching Knight Statues. Actually, not all of them. Almost all of them. Um, yeah, we're losing some traction here. Tamer's next. 23 seconds. Trying to get back to our Snowflake. At least with Tamer, I don't think we're going to be at risk of losing. Okay, that's fine. 7 seconds. Snowflake! Come on, it lagged. Oh, it lagged. Did our snowflake even go? 2.5. Oh. Alright, we got a couple of rank 2s. Mostly on knight statues. We are probably going to take a hit here. You know, him having a slow in his deck is really important for him. 800 to go through. We are going to get to our Snowflake. Oh, shoot. I mean, I don't think we would have taken it out anyway, but I tried. So he's going away from, from Shamans completely now. That's really good. Come on, buddy. I mean, I probably shouldn't say completely, but for the most part. So we got Gorgon. I mean, we got a couple of rank threes. They're on knight statues. I mean, our board doesn't look terrible. I'm going to try and build mana again, even though I can't really protect much at this point. We've got a bombardier on a knight statue. Like, looking at our board, I would think that we would be in the clear to win this game, but it's still super close. He already used his snowflake. We're trying to go through all of this stuff. He's going through this banner lord quicker than us. 200. Come on, Inquisitors. Do stuff. 300, 200. Let's not miss the timing this time. I waited as long as I could. Got another bombardier under it. He's got a snowflake to you. Oh, he won. He literally won. Wow, he won. I didn't think he was going to last this whole wave. Wow, what a game, man. What a game. Jeez. That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, Catapult, there you go. Made it happen. He's excited. Good job, man. You won with Shaman. Proud of you. And right there, there is an L. Not how you want to finish the game. It really, really isn't. I don't know if I... I don't know what I could have done to play that, play that better. But hey, we still got two big wins for our team. Not too shabby right there. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.